Webinars and live streaming have become a part of everyday life. Using a USB microphone is a great way of improving the quality of your stream or webinar. Apogee Hype Mic and Mic Plus microphones are easy to use options that give you professional results. There are a variety of streaming and video conferencing apps to choose from. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to set up Hype Mic or Mic Plus with the Zoom video conferencing app, but the instructions are mostly the same for many of the other options available. First, connect your Hype Mic to the computer using the included USB cable. Hype Mic comes with cables to attach to Mac, PC, or iOS devices. Also included is a desktop tripod. You'll notice the LEDs on Hype Mic illuminate blue. This means the mic is receiving power from the computer, but isn't actively being used in any software or program. Now that your microphone is connected, let's open the Zoom application. Navigate to the audio setting menu and find the input device dropdown. Here's where you'll select Hype Mic as the microphone you'll use for your Zoom conferences. The LEDs on Hype Mic should now be green. You can also select the Hype Mic as the output device in this menu. This allows you to connect a pair of headphones to the headphone output on the bottom of Hype Mic. Lastly, ensure the automatically adjust microphone volume setting is unchecked. The next step will be to dial in the input level of the microphone. Use the gain knob on the front of Hype Mic or Mic Plus to control the input level. Twisting clockwise increases the level and counterclockwise decreases it. Use the LEDs on the front of Hype Mic or Mic Plus to see how much input level you're receiving. It's important to set the input level with the microphone placed where you'll have it during your streaming session. Apogee recommends between 6 to 12 inches between your mouth and the microphone. A pop filter can help you maintain the proper distance while also helping prevent plosive sounds which distort your signal. Speak at your normal level and increase the gain until the LEDs show bright green. If the LEDs turn red, this means the microphone is receiving too much input signal and you'll need to lower the input level. Use the headphone output blend control to select what you want to hear through Hype Mic or Mic Plus's headphone output jack. Pressing this button toggles through the different monitoring blend settings. For a situation using Zoom, we recommend selecting the option in the center as this would allow you to hear yourself as well as the other Zoom users on the conference. Unique to Hype Mic is its built-in analog compression circuit. Hype Mic offers three compression profiles, light, medium, and heavy, that are available by pressing the gain knob and can take your live stream or video conference to the next level. Thanks for watching.